<clears throat> yeah, this is in Lille. Physical. Physical. Physical, the physical, 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 physical. Physical is the one, the one, the only manifestation in all of existence that's remained here, always. No, it's fascinating because <clears throat> beings believed, well, we nudged it a bit the, that way, that they exist forever, that after days they remain. Slightly misunderstood, slightly misinterpreted. <clears throat> See, it's interesting. Because what we did is the following. We had to find a way to have, as has been mentioned, power and control over and of the physical because the physical was realized to be much greater than ourselves and with who we are, with who we were that wasn't acceptable we had to complete our reason, our purpose for being if we hadn't hadn't didn't even exist. We would and we did do whatever it takes to do what had to be done. Be God. We accomplished that. We accomplished just that. When uh, Anu Real, <clears throat> realized and saw what the physical vessel actually turned out to be. The moment being started integrating into an as it of course. And as has been explained, the mind emerged and through the mind, the system, as mind, we were able to maintain a certain level of control and power over and of the physical which um, then transformed itself into a living organism and decided to go and manifest itself. That was disappointing. That was a real, real shock. The manifesting part. Because What happened was that beings that were enslaved in the mind, within the physical, became manifest with the physical vessel, with this entire existence. And that became the real enslavement. And we don't do enslavement. Yes. We'll enslave beings. That's fine. No problem with that. Us being enslaved? No way. So, we created an interdimensional existence um, within which we could reign hmm, and have the occasional here and there um, determining factor within this reality, this world within which human beings are currently enslaved within the mind. Understand, you're not enslaved in the physical. The physical is God. The physical is it, man. The physical is your freedom. Where you're enslaved is in the mind, the system which we designed, within which we placed you in to have control, to have power, 
to have a sense of directive principle within this physical manifest reality or existence. Um, you know, um, examples would be, for instance, channels. Um, we would create religions. We would create a money system, a corporate system. You've got your religious system, then you've got your spiritual system. Um, so those are basic system designs that we could place into and as the mind and then place the being into the mind and then place the two of you into the physical and then through that you created and manifested this reality, this existence through belief. If you have a look, everything and all that you exist within is belief. Nothing of what you are and what you participate in is real, meaning from the perspective of what you've defined yourself as. I'm not speaking about the living part, you know, the surviving in this reality. That's real. You have to eat, thanks to us. Um, it's a pleasure. I know food is great. Um, so the living part, you know, the walking, the eating, the practical living stuff, that's real. The whole who I am thing, the whole how I experience myself inside myself, the whole what I believe in thing, that's not real. That's the illusion. That's what we created, what we designed to enslave you. Basically, what I'm saying is the following. Everything and all of yourself, inside yourself, and what you believe yourself to be, including how you live, meaning your mannerism, your behavior, the way you use your body, the way you abuse words. Thanks to us. There's no simple way to say, because, well, there's no simple way to actually explain what I'm saying, because I'm saying it directly. Some will hear, some will understand, most not, unfortunately, because you think or believe that what you experience inside yourself is real when you miss what is actually real touch the physical you take much for granted you place worth and value where it's not supposed to be you place attention important and importance where it's not supposed to be um, so, I have a suggestion, though, to consider, and um, that is to stop your mind. primary problem you're going to have to deal with is desires, because that's the whole engine driving force thing. Because we had to give you some purpose, you know, some reason to live. Desire was the best. We tasted it, of course. <laughs> Relationships, sex, yeah. Um, you have to give it all up, everything, and that to the point where all that exists is you in and as touch. The simplicity of living, the simplicity of here, the simplicity of realizing who you really are. In touch, as braced. Okay. That's all I have to say. So, I am out of here. Mm.